Hi guys, it's day 15 of my diet today. We've come early in the morning, around half nine, to pits, just for a little jog, and to get our bodies in shape. Say hi, Maya. Hello. <laughs> she's marred today because she's really tired. She just literally jogged around the track with me. But yeah, I'm gonna go for another jog now. See you guys soon. I hope I've lost a stone. Stand on the way skill. And now we're checking stones. Guys, I've lost bang on a stone which is 14 pounds I'm so happy I feel such a big difference and guess what it's my treat day so I can have anything I like I mean it's not a treat day remember it's going to be a treat meal so I think I might take a treat snack I've been dying for a Snickers for about two weeks. I'm so happy and can't wait to take the first bite of that chocolate. Ugh. I'm reducing my calorie intake. So usually for my main meal, I'm having around five to 600 calories, but today I'm going to be having around 400 calories. So today I'm cooking you my style of instant and quick and easy fish masala and i will also be making you cloudy eggs with a nice mint and onion chutney let's start off with the fish so you will need a fish piece defrosted and washed you will also need frozen peas and sweet corn also washed and then we have our fish masala to season our fish with a roll of foil. For our fluffy and cloudy eggs, you'll need two eggs, one empty bowl and an electric whisk. For our chutney, what we use is a bunch of coriander, some mint leaves, some lemon mint leaves, five chilies, a tub of natural yogurt, this is low fat, a teaspoon of garlic paste, one tomato and one onion finely chopped. The lemon will be used for the fish. I will also be adding a teaspoon of salt. You'll need a bowl of water to put your coriander, your mint leaves and your lemon mint leaves into it for soaking. This just helps wash the leaves if there's any dirt or any dust on them. These mint leaves are actually picked from our garden, fresh. You'll need a smoothie whisker, also used for soups. And then you'll also need a jug as well. So just before I start preparing my fish, I've already put these in for soaking. So this is how you prepare your fish. Just season the fish first with the masala on both sides. So you place that on a sheet of foil. So I have three slices of lemon. I'm going to place my lemon slices over the fish. And this will give the lemon a nice tangy taste. And then what I have here is a handful of sweet corn and a handful of frozen peas as well. Just literally chuck this into the foil and all you do is you wrap it up like a parcel and then place your fish into an oven tray so now we're going to start off with our cloudy eggs so it's exactly the same way as making meringues but without the sugar so what you need to do is with your two eggs, we will need to crack them, but make sure the yellow doesn't break into it as well. So the yolk, we will have to put it in a separate plate and the whites, 
that's what we will be whisking. So let's start whisking our eggs now. This is gonna take around five to six minutes, but make sure you do it at high speed and be patient. Whisk until you start seeing the mixture thicken and also it will form these ripples. So the perfect meringue when you know it's done is when you tip it over and nothing comes out. So yeah, the meringue is perfectly done now. What we want to do is scoop the cloudy meringue into the same tray. It will go in with the fish. And then just flatten it down slightly and make room for your egg yolks. And then you just slide your egg yolks into it like that, as you can see. And now what I'm going to do is put this into the oven. So I've added my mint leaves, my lemon mint leaves and coriander with tomato all chopped with a teaspoon of garlic paste and a teaspoon of salt. This will all be grinded so you don't really need to chop them that small. I have a tub of yogurt that will be added to it later and then we'll be mixing the chutney into these thin sliced onions. So before you start grinding I've added a bit of yogurt just so the mixture comes out smooth and it will also grind a lot easier. So yeah that's nice and smooth now you can add the rest of your yogurt. Just literally pour it all in. Mix it all together. You'll start to see that the colour will go lighter than what it was before. At this stage you can now add your onions as well. And now you can see this is how it should look like. I'm going to pour this into a nice jar and this will actually last me for the whole week. So I will be eating the same meal for the whole week in chocolate.
Right, here you go. This is my meal complete. So I've got my nice crispy cloudy eggs. I have nice seasoned veg and then fish masala with my chutney on top. got my snicker bar can't wait to have this honestly i've never appreciated food as much as today and guess what it's like 245 calories that's more than my breakfast for god's sake i mean it's full fat as well <laughs> do you know what i'm gonna take the most smallest bites in this and make sure it lasts i wish it lasts all Get some nuts, guys! 